Hi friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, today I'm going to be doing a really pretty peach smoky eye using the new Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I'm also super, super excited because I am giving one away on my channel right now. So I will link the giveaway video in the down bar so you can go and check it out and figure out how to win this amazingly beautiful palette. Let's get started with a tutorial. <music> I'm going to be using a full coverage foundation, so I want to add a little moisture into my skin by spraying the Glossier Soothing Face Mist directly onto my skin and then pressing it in with a Real Technique sponge. Today I'm using the Too Faced Candlelight Primer to prime my lids and this has a golden hue which I thought would really add to the peach look. I'm setting that with peaches and cream which will help with all the blending down the line that we're going to do. To start the diffused peach crease, I'm going to blend Georgia, which is a light peach color, into the upper portion of the crease with a big old fluffy brush. Next, I'm going to take the darker peach color in the palette called Candied Peach, and I'm going to build it up in the socket. I'm going to go in with a few layers of color just to make sure it's nice and vibrant, and I just really want the peach to be more concentrated in the outer half of the socket. So I'm wiggling my brush back and forth to build that color first, and when it's bright enough, I'm going to pick up a little bit more and continue to blend that throughout the rest of the socket. Now I'm taking a more dense compact eyeshadow brush and I'm picking up Summer Yum, which is a rusty brown color. I'm just gonna start packing this on right below the socket and on the top portion of the actual eyelid. We're just diffusing the colors from light to dark as we get closer to the lash line here. So I'm gonna blend everything out and then I'm gonna come back and reapply that Summer Yum just to kind of get the color back that we just blended away. I'm gonna smoke this out with the color Delectable, which is actually not as purple as it looks here, it's more of a plum color. And I'm just taking the same flat shadow brush and patting that onto the outer corner and inner corner. I'm just taking it up to the crease, but not really past it. Then obviously I'm gonna go back to my handy dandy blending brush and start to blend all of this out and diffuse the color upwards. This color was a little bit patchy after blending, so I needed to go back in and just reapply that color just to even it out and deepen it up a little bit. So we've done some blending across the lid, but there should still be some empty space right in the center there. I'm picking up Bellini with a flat Luxie shader brush, and I'm just starting to build that color up right in the center. So I'm just pressing my brush until the color gets nice and bright. It helps if you wet your brush, that will make the color more metallic. I want to add a little bit more depth and smoke it up some more, so I'm just tapping the end of my bristles into Talk Derby to me, and I'm using the end of the brush to tap it into the outermost portions of the inner and outer corner, if that makes sense. You don't want to cover the whole portion of Delectable, you just want to softly tap the brush until it's as dark as you want it and blend it into the rest of the shadow. I'm using both Nectar and White Peach to highlight the brow bone. I'm using a big fluffy brush so it's not too opaque, it's just more of a light wash of shimmer. Using the Too Faced Glitter Glue, which is incredible, I'm just tapping this onto the center of the lid where I applied that Bellini shade. This is gonna help adhere all of the glitter that we apply. With Girlactic's Bronze Glitter, I'm going to just take my finger and tap it all over where we applied the glue. Just do it very carefully so that you can avoid any fallout on your face. We all know glitter on the face is not cute. Grab that makeup wipe, girl, clean up that edge of that eyeshadow, and then we're gonna move on to the face. I'm trying the Makeup Forever One Step Smoothing Primer for the first time and I'm just smoothing this all over my face with a fluffy angled Luxie brush. Another product I'm using for the first time is the Milani 2-in-1 Foundation in 05 Warm Beige. I'm doing something a little bit different today and applying the foundation one section at a time. I usually start in the center, but today I'm starting with one side of my face and going in first with a brush to blend everything in, then coming in with my sponge to buff it out. This just ensures that nothing will start to set or oxidize before I get to it. You can just use any sponge, but today I am using the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. Since I originally bought 07 Sand, which is about two shades too dark, I'm going to use this just to warm up but not contour my face. It's not really dark enough to sculpt anything out. This is more like a bronzer and will just add some dimension so my face doesn't look so flat from the first shade we used. I'm doing the same thing as I did with the first shade and just applying with a brush and then coming in to blend everything out with the sponge. The foundation was actually so full coverage that I forgot to apply concealer and went straight to highlight. So, oops. I want to really brighten up the center of my face, so I'm using the Water Concealer in Light by Tarte to both conceal and highlight today. I am using this under my eyes, around my nose and mouth, and across my forehead to bring those features forward for, again, more dimension. And then I'm just blending everything out with, you guessed it, my Real Techniques sponge. Back to highlighting. So I'm using my What's Up 
cream highlight by Benefit to apply to the high points of my cheeks or aka cheekbones, nose, and cupid's bow. I'm just pressing the cream in so it's not sitting on top of my skin or looking cakey. This is just going to serve as a base for my powder highlight that I'm about to apply. Then I'm taking my Girlactic Face Glow in Natural with this really fluffy, cool um, Lexi brush. This is really fluffy, so it's going to diffuse the color more than a more dense brush. And I am just dusting this on heavily um, all over the high points of my face. Again, forehead, cheekbones, nose, Cupid's bow. I'm really just dousing myself in this highlight. Then with another Girlactic product, this is their bronzer in Casablanca. I am just going to set where I darkened up my foundation a little bit. This is not really contouring. I'm using a really fluffy brush, but this is going to warm my skin up and really just give me a nice bronze glow. Again, just something to remember, the fluffier the brush, the more diffused the color, and the more dense the brush, the more concentrated the color is. Since this tutorial is all about the peach, I decided to go with a peach glow. This is Kinky by Urban Decay, and I am just brushing this on between the highlight and the bronzer on my face, just blending this in really well. You know I have to hop on the RCMA No Color Powder train, so I am using this to carve out my cheekbones a little bit. I didn't really contour at all, so this is just going to help define my cheeks a little bit more. While I let that quote unquote bake for a second, I'm gonna go back to finish under my eyes. I'm just smoking my bottom lash line out with Summer Yum, that warm rust color, and just blending out the line where we cleaned it up earlier. Then I'm gonna go into Delectable, which is that dark plum shade, and I'm just further smoking out the bottom lash line, just keeping it a little bit closer to the actual lash line. I like to connect the color up to the top lash line with Smoky Eyes. This just adds a little bit more smoky effect. So I'm just pressing the color and connecting it and blending it out with this little Little small blending brush. This just gives the eye a rounder look and makes it look a little more smoky. For the inner corner highlight, I'm just picking up nectar and I'm just popping it on with my finger. No brush needed. I'm just blending everything out to make it look nice and smooth with my finger. One last big fluffy brush blend to make sure everything's blended and we are done with the eyes. I am going to move on to the eyebrows. I'm using the ColourPop Brow Pencil in Brunette and the Essence Give Me Brow Gel. Uh, I just recently got my eyebrows done and they're tinted so I don't really need to do much here. I'm just lightly filling them in with the pencil and then I'm going to go in and set them with the brow gel just to ensure that they stay in place all day. To finish the eyes, I'm just popping on a few of these individual eyelashes on the outer corner of my eyes just to wake them up a little bit. I'm finishing the look with this really pop of peach orange lip color. This is Botanical. It's a satin lip by ColourPop in their new spring collection. I'm absolutely obsessed with the way this came out and I love this lip color. I am giving my face one last spray with the same Glossier spray we used at the beginning and we are done with this look. I really love the way this came out. I love that it's soft and smoky at the same time and I think peach is all the rage right now so I really really love this kind of peach toned smoky eye. Like I said in the beginning I am actually giving away a Too Faced Sweet Peach palette not the one I used a new one and I will link that in the down bar so you can go check it out and see how to enter. Also follow me on social media let me know you gave me a follow leave a comment below and make sure to subscribe for more. I will love you forever. Thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something. We'll talk soon. Peace out.